What's up everyone? Welcome to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron and it is time for New Music Friday where I take a look at some of the upcoming music coming out throughout the week of September 9th. I give my thoughts and opinions on what I think we can expect from some of these new releases. And as always, there's a lot of stuff coming out, especially this week. So if I miss something that you guys are looking forward to, please leave a comment below letting me know what it is so me and everybody else can discover some new music. And as always, also, if you wanna help support me and my channel, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon and leave a comment below letting me know what you want me to review next so you don't miss that as well. First up is Parkway Drive's newest album titled Darker Still. Uh, this is kind of a tough one because they've gone from one of the greatest, most impactful metalcore bands around with albums like Horizons and Deep Blue to <laughs> albums like Reverence. And they're kind of like architects in the fact that they found success in making, dare I say, lazy metalcore songs. It's just very radio friendly kind of rinse and repeat the same kind of riff over and over again and i feel like darker still could definitely change that because some of the singles do sound kind of promising but at the same time they're not like really i don't know the, it, it could go one way or another either the singles are just going to be really radio friendly or the entire album is we also have a new album from revocation titled nether heaven uh this is one of the top death metal bands around right now especially in like more of the modern age i'm very very much excited for this album it's been four years since they dropped the outer ones and it seems like they just keep getting better and better especially in terms of production and just the overall sound of their music tone and guitars uh the different production that they use on the drums everything it just they've been getting really really good at it while still remaining pretty death metal Armor for Sleep is coming out with a new album titled The Rain Museum. I <laughs> I almost cried when I saw that this band was making a return. They definitely take me back to my emo team years. And I hope that they're not like all the other bands that made a return like after 2020. And just kind of, they just suck. They, they, <laughs> they're not what they used to be. Everybody gets super excited. They release something and it's like, what is, like, I mean, some people like it, but long-term fans, such as, like, myself, they don't really tend to care for the newer stuff that all these returning bands are doing. And I just, I don't know, I'm sure that this will still be a guilty pleasure for me, even if it does suck. It's been a long time since they've made music or done anything, so, I don't know, it could go one way or the other. I have my fingers crossed, but at the same time, I'm trying not to get too overhyped about it. We also have another album from Buried Alive titled Our Own Night. Uh, this one kind of makes me sad a little bit how how uh, this band went from being crazy, brutal, technical death metal to like a trap beat kind of thing. It's, I don't know where they made that switch or where the, where the progression of that was. But if you listen to their older stuff, like even just two albums ago, you're like, whoa, this is insane. And then go into their current music. It's completely different. It's not anywhere close to the same. The guitar playing is so super technical. Charles is absolutely insane. And I know I called it a band. It's just it's just a husband and wife duo. And they're fantastic musicians. But, I mean, and also don't get me wrong. The newer stuff they do definitely slaps. But it's not really my kind of thing. I'm not really into that whole trap rap kind of thing. But I do like how he incorporates actual instruments like guitars and stuff to really really bring that music to life but I just I don't know I kind of missed the chaos that was all of his earlier work we also have a new album from Ozzy Osbourne titled Patient Number Nine I absolutely I love Ozzy but that doesn't mean that his music isn't still considered dad rock I guess I mean a lot of people take that as a really big insult where it's just I mean it just is what it is you know it's older stuff for older dudes to enjoy and uh, people are probably gonna love this album regardless because it's Ozzy and he's practically perfected his craft and his sound and he still has a really good voice and he still has lots of musicians that just flock to him whenever he wants to do something new. I believe every single he's released so far has a special feature on like Tony Iommi's on one of his songs and I, uh, I want to enjoy this but at the same time I don't know. I feel like it's just going to be something we've heard before from him because he doesn't really change things up too much and I feel like some of the more brutal metal heads people that like more deathcore and metalcore like myself will probably steer clear of this one because of that we get a new song from counterparts titled bound to the burns and i just gotta say that they are absolutely killing it counterparts is always like a top tier band 
But I mean, they're just really, I mean, they're just really doing it with these singles. I mean, this album has potential to be album of the year easily. And honestly, after the third single being released, I think I'm very much ready for this new album. I don't want them to release any more singles. I just want, uh, even if it takes two more months, I, I just want the album. I want to hear it in its entirety. Uh, normally, I'll I would do like a review on something like this that I'm not passionate about, but I'm gonna wait. I'm not even gonna listen to it. I'm just gonna wait until the album comes out and listen to it all. That way I could get the full jest of what they're trying to go for and I'll enjoy the album and doing the review a lot more that way. We also have a new single from Chelsea Grin titled The Isness. <laughs> I think that the Isness, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Um, I've always had a hard time getting into Chelsea Grin, admittedly, no matter who the vocalist is. I don't know why. I, I Obviously, it's probably the music, but I just, I don't know, I can't really do it. And I hope that just like Oshino a few weeks back, I really hope that this one wins me over. I hope that they do something that just catches my ear because I know a lot of people that love this band, but also at the same time, there's a lot of people that struggle with this band in the same way that I do. We also have a new song from Bill Murray titled The Void Approacheth, which is a fantastic name for a song. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that I'd be shocked if I didn't think that this song would be probably like one of the best songs of the year and anything less than phenomenal i mean somehow this guy he manages to write but just constantly write music he releases a new ep like every six to eight months or somewhere around there and everything that he does in it is just perfection the all the different stuff he adds in all the features his lyrics all come from the heart the music everything i'm blown away every single time i hear anything from johnny frank every time and i just I got really excited when I saw he was releasing a new song. We also have a new song from Signs of the Swarm titled Unbridled. I feel like everyone is ranting and raving about Lorna Shore. Uh, yeah, they're fantastic. They're great. Blah, 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 blah. But I feel like they're definitely sleeping on Signs of the Swarm. Absolver, which was their album from 2021, is one of the best deathcore albums of that year. And I feel like if these guys continue in that sound and in that songwriting and really keep that feeling of just creativity going while still working in the realm of things that they're able to do i mean they could easily do it again i'm not sure i didn't look into it if this song leads to a new album or not i don't know if it's just a single but i'm i'm looking forward to this song and anything new like i said if you if you're really into like lorna shore chelsea grin um Shadows of Intent, bands like that, and you have like, oh yeah, I've heard of Signs of Swarm, but I don't know, I haven't really checked them out. Check them out, because they're they're up there, and I'm just so surprised that it, it, they're criminally unrated. People just aren't talking about them, and I don't get it. Fit for a Freaking King is coming out with a new song titled Falling Through the Sky. Uh, <sighs> the Path was probably one of the most disappointing albums that I've ever heard, and I really hope that they redeem themselves. I mean... It's just, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, last album, he was like, you know, we've matured, and this is the heaviest song that we've ever written, and blah, 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 and it comes out with this album, and it's just it's just radio rock at that point. Even one of the songs, he completely, like, the Fit for a King completely stole one of their songs from another band. Like, the whole rhythm, everything. I'm sh really shocked there's not a lawsuit on it. And judging these singles that I've heard so far, I highly doubt that they're going to change anything. I mean, they completely lost their originality. There is one single, Reaper, which it doesn't sound too bad, but then when you listen to the other singles they released, it kind of leaves you scratching your head, like, what, like well, why don't they just make more stuff like Reaper and keep that going? Because it sounds like Fit for a King. Instead, they come out with other songs, probably like Falling Through the Sky, which sounds like, I don't know, Architects or... Parkway Drive or I don't know, any other band that you hear on the radio. We also have a new song from Lamb of God titled Grayscale. Uh, this one could also be considered, uh, not dad rock, but I guess like dad metal, I guess. Again, it's not like an insult. It's just, I don't know, us older dudes, we tend to like this stuff. Even though I'm not a dad, I'm the age that you could be. But again, I still absolutely love, I love Lamb of God, but they've been missing the riffs they've been missing riffs and i feel like that's been hurting them a lot on their last album it just there wasn't any just there wasn't a riff that grabbed me and that's lamb of god they're like a groove metal band we're what they need that groove and they just don't have it i just want to hear 
Mark Morton just go off with just the heaviest, heaviest thing like he did on Ashes of the Wake. And I, I know that's kind of like looking into the past. It's like, oh, he can't just keep writing the same thing over and over and over again. And he has matured. And I would say that his writing style has become a little bit more, not mature, but a little bit more rhyme or reason to it. He even mentioned in an interview where he says before he would just play as hard as he could and there was no empty spaces in his music, which you could definitely hear it. And it is just like this onslaught of just riffs coming at you, which it can be a little tiring, but I, I just need something. I need a hook and I just something heavy. And I feel like we haven't gotten that from them. I don't know if Grayscale is going to bring that, but I really hope that there's something on this new album that just grabs you by the face and screams in it. And we also have a new single from Nickelback titled San Quentin. And that is it for New Music Friday. Like I said before, if there's anything that I missed, which I'm sure that there is, because there's a lot of stuff this week, leave a comment below letting me know what it is so I could check it out. And also while you're down there, let me know what you want me to review next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to help support me, my channel, you don't want to miss out on any of my future reviews, or if you have something that you want me to check out and you request, please, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell icon. I'm just barely over 800 subscribers trying to get to that thousand. Once I do, I'm going to make a video that goes in depth on how I go about making my reviews. I'm going to try and get as into it as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, I look very much forward to that. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time.